Hey guys, this is John with For Love of Gear, and today uh, we are going to do part two of our uh, Learn to Fly Your Drone. This is the DJI Mavic Air 2, and um, we are going to take a look at just how you go about flying this, how do you how you get some awesome cinematic footage. Um, I will show you on the on the app and the controller and kind of talk through everything that we're doing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this in the air. All right. So we just did a little uh, takeoff just from holding it. Right now I'm at a pretty high altitude, so I'm gonna get all these warnings on the screen. Um, but so yeah, here we go. Let's let's take a look. So turn your drone. That's pretty simple. Just go ahead and turn this joystick here on the left. Subtle movements will do it. Um, you can also toggle between tripod, normal, and sport mode. Tripod mode is going to go really slow uh, and cinematic. Normal is going to give you just regular speed. And sport mode is going to allow you to actually fly it um, up to 45 miles an hour but that does um, take off obstacle avoidance. So let's go ahead and fly this forward down the valley a little bit. I'm pushing forward on the joystick as you can see. To go left, right now you simply go left, go right, you will go right. Now, if we turn this around, go up a little bit. So if we turn this around, now if I try to go left, it's actually going in the opposite direction. So you don't want that. And as a rule of thumb, it is good to keep things in line of sight. Okay, so on here, we are going to look at um, changing the rotation of the gimbal angle. And so to do that, you're gonna pull down on your dial and that is going to move the gimbal down. You can see it's going minus 45, minus 50 degrees. And then to go up, you're going to push up on that dial. Relatively straightforward, but again, it takes a lot of getting used to. Now, going in to change uh, your settings, you can click, you can actually click on where it says storage, resolution frames per second, and exposure value. You can click on that, change all of that. I don't want to actually change that, I just want to show you. Same deal with exposure, or you can go ahead and change it just to auto and then it's going to do that now if you want to uh, change from photo to video you push this button here to the right of your joystick of your rightmost d-pad and that is going to go ahead and change it we're going to go back to video now now one of the things that you really want to remember when you're flying your drone is that <laughs> easy does it. So you don't want to do any jerky movements. You want to go nice and slow. So here's the here's what happens when we go nice and slow. Okay, and we're going to do a little bit of a turn. So we're going to slowly slowly rotate that. That looks pretty nice. I got bees like flying all around me right now. So we're gonna go back a little bit. Okay, so now watch what happens if we do, if we try to do that same movement, but we are not careful with our joystick movements, okay? You don't want that, that doesn't look great. Now the same is going to apply for 
when you are doing that movement with the gimbal. All right, so we're flying forward. Here's what happens if I just haphazardly, you don't want to do that, or sometimes you like think that you're going down, and you, you were like really hoping you were gonna tilt up, but then all of a sudden you go down, and you're like, ah, crap, and then you gotta go up. So let's actually go ahead and hit the record button. And now we are getting some nice, um, I'll be able to show you this video. All right, so let's go forward. Let's do a nice tilt slowly, slowly, ever just so slightly moving that gimbal down. And now you're seeing that we're starting to reveal this creek below us. Now let's also incorporate a little bit of j left joystick movement. So now we're getting some pretty nice cinematic looking footage. Okay. These <laughs> little bugs are flying all around me. I don't think they so much care for, uh, for my drone. And I know it's a, a little bit difficult to see on the screen here because I do have an ND filter on. All right. So here we're looking back up, back up here. So you can do things like, well here, let me, I'll come and uh, put myself in view. But you can see here on the remote, it's telling me that I'm 1,900 feet away, traveling at 26 miles an hour. Don't want to crash it into any trees. That's no good. So we're getting closer. Now you can also, we'll hit the home button. Now we are returning to home. So that's really nice for just, if you want to get it home quickly and you don't want to avoid anything. You can set your return to home altitude. Uh, so if you get into any trouble or you know you flew um, across some trees or maybe some power lines, you can set it so that it's always going to fly higher than that to come back to you. Okay, so it's just coming our way and you have full control of the gimbal. I'm tilting it down by pulling down on the gimbal. And now I'm pushing the gimbal dial up to bring it up. So you can adjust it while it's returning to home. And that's a really nice thing to be able to do. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna tap to cancel that return to home. I'm gonna come a little bit closer to me. So you can tell that I have this set to go to over 300 feet to come home. I'm getting close. I'm using this gimbal to, yeah, there we go. I, I can see myself. Okay. So what I want to demonstrate to you now are some of the little quick shots that you can do. All right. And I can see, I've got line of sight on the drone. I can see it. I'm gonna bring it closer to myself a bit. Now, one thing to note is that if you go below the altitude at which you launched, you are going to start seeing it say, minus one foot, minus two feet. That just means that you're now below where you launched it. Ooh, the bee. All right, so we're gonna come a little bit closer. And now you can see, all right. Let's, let's do some quick shots, because of course this is giving me a little trouble. Okay, so in order to enter quick shots, we gotta stop recording, no problem. We tap on the film strip, we go to quick shots, we're gonna draw a box around myself and Here's all these different options. Let's go ahead and just do the droney. Now let's check this out.
and now the drone is running its pre-programmed flight away from me it's just going back and up and it, it is nice to use these pre-programmed modes because they capture really beautiful looking footage and kind of levels that that learning curve a little bit so i do really like that a lot and then it's going to return to its starting point all right very cool so let's try to do a different one let's go and see rocket again draw a box around yourself you can select what altitude you want to do let's do 200 feet and then we'll hit start and here it goes now there is a plane actually flying above me and so if depending on how close you are you may get a warning pop up on your screen and tell you that there is low flying aircraft and that you need to return to home and you definitely want to respect that uh, or we may all lose our droning privileges that's one thing to remember is that this is a privilege uh, we are entering airspace and you do need to be aware of that it's extremely important all right quick shot is complete it's coming back i'm gonna go ahead and All right, now to exit your quick shots, go ahead and just tap back into video. All right. So now I've got this looking at me. I'm gonna draw a box around myself. And we're gonna hit active track. All right, so now I've got it on trace. And then we're going to hit go. And then we're recording. And it's following me. So that's pretty nice. All right. Now you can also do parallel and that is going to just go parallel to you so you can see it's going to track your movements really nicely and it's a little bit finicky at times so just be beware all right, let's get out of this mode. Hit the X, not tracking any longer. I'll stop the recording. Okay, let's go ahead and bring it back. All right, guys, so let's see. What else have I got for you? Really, the biggest things are to make sure you do nice and slow movements. And here, I'm gonna actually fly this kind of close to the camera so that you can see you want to do nice slow movements okay we're gonna bring it so I'm actually gonna move it to sport mode now because the obstacle avoidance doesn't want me to fly into the camera So look at the gimbal, nice and slow, down and up, you want to rotate your drone slowly, just like that, what you don't want to do is this, Woo. that, you want to be nice and slow, like that.
So one of the other things that you can do on here, let's go into photo mode. Okay. So within your photos, within the photo setting, I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, negative exposure compensation. So I have these little zebra stripes set up, which you can access uh, in your settings here. And again, so yeah, let's take a look here. Obstacle avoidance, I have it set to break, like I mentioned in our first video, but you can also turn it off or put it on bypass, which is gonna make it try to move away from something. I like it on break. You can set your max flying altitudes, your max distance that you can go. Find my drone in case you ever crash it. Control, you can change a lot on here. Um, if you need to do metric, you can do that. Gimbal mode, follower. FPV is gonna basically just unlock another access so that you're gonna be able to roll it as well. You can get your gimbal cam calibration in there. Okay, camera, here's where you're gonna access all these settings. So I always shoot in JPEG and RAW because it's the nicest. You can put your histogram on there, let's actually do that. So that's gonna show you the range between your highlights and your shadows. You want to avoid spiking on either ends of the, of the left or the right side. Overexposure warning. That is going to be for the zebras. Um, and then you've got your yeah internal storage or SD card. But if you want to change any of your camera settings, you want to go into the camera right there. So now you can take a look at this histogram and see how they change as we go minus seven, minus one, minus 1 1.3. And that histogram is changing to make it so that things aren't quite as blown out. Let's move it back to video. And then you get the same thing here with the video. So this is really nice with the zebra stripes, with your histogram, you can get the exposure and everything dialed in just right. So those, those are the big things. You really want to just consider the exposure, the composition of your shot, and then slow and steady movements on the joystick, and that's going to get you all the shots that, that you want. Um, so that's basically it. Let's go ahead and bring this, gim this drone home. I'll show you how to do one-handed catch. Okay, so I like to do it in sport mode because that takes obstacle avoidance off. Then you hold your hand on the left joystick. And you press down until it lands. And that's all there is to it. So let me know in the, in the comments if you've got any other questions, if I left anything untouched. There are a ton of features in, the, in this drone. So just go ahead and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.